and of course the many parents, community members, and guests who are joining us today. I'm your announcer, Ms. Amy Coe, Assistant Dean of Academics. In the event of an emergency and we have to evacuate the area, please use the exits located at the ticket booth and the exit behind the press box. Please walk, do not run, and help those who are in need of assistance. Instructions will be given to you as you exit the area. Keep all areas designated for emergency vehicles or medical teams clear. At this time, I would like to introduce Rotary Club of Carlsbad President, Mr. David Tweedy. Good morning, everyone. Whoa, that's loud. <laughs> Thanks for coming. My name is David Tweedy, and I'm the president of the Rotary Club of Carlsbad. On behalf of the Army and Navy Academy and the Rotary Club of Carlsbad, it is my honor to welcome you to the 14th Annual Veterans Day Military Review. Back when I was in high school, there was a band called Fleetwood Mac before they got big. Yeah. They had a, a new album called Heroes Are Hard to Find. Now, all these years later, uh, we continue to look for heroes and role models, for selfless individuals we can emulate and who we can be inspired by to truly become our best selves. On this day, we honor what I believe are our real heroes in our society. The brave men and women of the armed forces, those who have served and are continuing to serve the United States of America with the noblest of goals to defend, to protect, and preserve the cherished rights and freedoms that we as Americans continue to enjoy. To our veterans, a heartfelt thank you from a grateful nation. While I did not serve the military myself, I have been introduced to many veteran Rotarians uh, in the Carlsbad Rotary, uh, distinguished veterans. One of them is our very own uh, Carlsbad Mayor Matt Hall, a Vietnam vet who was awarded the Purple Heart he has been the mayor of Carlsbad for 12 years and has left a lasting legacy of good government and smart management. Then there's Neil Black, one of the longest serving POWs in the history of America. Neil Black was shot down in, uh, while flying a rescue helicopter in 1965 in Vietnam. He was held in a North Vietnamese prison until February 1973. Seven and a half years, 2,703 days in captivity. He later became a Air Force pilot, capped his military career as an air operations officer with the United States military liaison mission to the Soviet forces in East Germany. And then there's a man many of you already know, Russ Hanthorne, a longtime Rotarian who served the Marine Corps for 30 years, rising to the rank of Colonel. After retiring in 1988, he served as a junior ROTC officer and was elected to the Army and Navy Academy Board in March 2012. He later served as the Academy uh, Head of Schools and then Chief of Staff of the Academy. In total, the Rotary Club of Carlsbad is proud to have more than 17 veterans. Among them include our newest Rotarian, Brishan McGuire, who is a veteran of the Marine Corps. These fine gentlemen embody the Rotary motto, service above self. They serve the military, and after they joined, Rotary to continue their commitment to our community and the people around them. So at this time, I would like to introduce the, the honorary commander of the troops, 
and veterans representing the four branches or four of the branches of our military. Veterans, please stand when your name is called. For the rest of us, please withhold applause till I conclude announcing the names. First, the Honorary Commander of the Troops, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Doherty, United States Marine Corps, retired. Matt Hall, United States Army. Robbie Robinson, United States Marine Corps, retired. Jay Coleman, United States Navy. Terrell Rodman, United States Air Force. Next, I'd like to introduce and welcome the city leaders who are with us today. Again, please hold your with, uh, applause until they've been completed. Carlsbad Mayor Matt Hall, you get to stand up again. And Council Member Priya Bhatt Patel. There she is, okay. In closing, I would like to thank the Army and Navy Academy for allowing the Rotary Club of Carlsbad to participate in this annual event and for allowing me to speak. And to all the military veterans who are watching this ceremony today, I know I speak for all members of our club when I say I salute you and a hearty thank you for your service. Ladies and gentlemen, the Army and Navy Academy Corps of Cadets, led by the class of 2023, will perform a military review in honor of our veterans. Military reviews can be traced to the Middle Ages when rulers demonstrated their military strength by conducting ceremonies in the presence of their competitors. In the American Army, reviews were originally based on Barrett, Baron Frederick von Steuben's Blue Book and were practiced by revolutionary units. As a matter of tradition, music has played a significant role throughout military history for signaling units in camp or on the battlefield. The colors at the center of the formation represent their presence at the forefront of the regiment during the heat of battle. Cadets at Army and Navy Academy have honored the traditions of our school through the years by gathering on the parade field and marching together as a unit. Today, the Corps of Cadets will be led by the class of 2023 as we honor our military at our 14th annual Veterans Day Military Review.
The adjutant now directs the band to sound attention. This starts a sequence of commands and movements to bring the battalion to the final line. Next, the adjutant commands sound adjutant's call to align the battalion to the final line. He then walks swiftly to a position at the front of the Corps of Cadets where he will present the battalion to the, command, to the commander of troops. The adjutant now presents the Corps of Cadets to the Commander of Troops, who assumes command of the battalion. The Commander of Troops is Army and Navy Academy Battalion Commander, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Dela Proto from Boulder, Colorado. His staff include Battalion Executive Officer, Cadet Major Finian McGonigal from Napa Valley, California. S-1 Adjutant, Cadet Captain Jacob Pascal, Cota de Casa, California. S-2 Information Officer, Cadet Captain Michael Ramirez, Baldwin Park, California. Acting S-3 Operations Officer, Cadet First Lieutenant Pierce Fleming, Chula Vista, California. S-4 Logistics Officer, Cadet Captain David Sanchez, Bogota, Colombia. S-5 Public Affairs Officer, Cadet Captain Truck Nguyen, Irvine, California. S-6 Admissions Officer, Cadet Captain David Dror, Houston, Texas. S-7 Equal Opportunity Officer, Cadet Captain Rock Williams, Oceanside, California. Battalion Sergeant Major, Cadet Command Sergeant Major Sullivan Adams, Carlsbad, California. The Commander of Troops, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel De La Proto, will formally present the Corps of Cadets to the reviewing stand, officially welcoming them to our ceremony.
The Commandant of Cadets, Colonel Wayne Ward, United States Marine Corps retired, represents the local commander. The reviewing officials include Major General Peggy Combs, President of the Army and Navy Academy, Mr. David Tweedy, Rotary Club of Carlsbad President, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Doherty, United States Marine Corps Retired, Honorary Commander of the Troops, and the following service representatives. U.S. Army, Mayor of Carlsbad, Matt Hall. U.S. Marine Corps, Robbie Robinson. U.S. Navy, Jake Holman. U.S. Air Force, Terrell Rodman. After the Corps of Cadets is presented to the reviewing officials and the, the band is ordered to sound off, this gives the band an opportunity to entertain you with military marching music. The military culture of early civilization utilized musical instruments for the purpose of conducting war. Specimens of ancient trumpet type devices are documented in nearly every culture, including those of the ancient Egyptians, Assyrians, Israelites, Greeks, Etruscans, Romans, Celts, as well as Asian cultures. If we broaden the definition of music, chanting has long been a means of raising morale and or striking fear into the enemy. Today, the band will be performing a medley of service songs. We invite all of you to sing along. The lyrics are included in your program. For those of you who have served or are currently serving, please stand when your service song is played so we can recognize you for your service. The United States Army. United States Marine Corps. The United States Navy. United States Air Force.
the United States Coast Guard. the United States Space Force. The Warrior Band is led by Drum Major Cadet Sergeant Major Alexander Shen and Band Company Commander Cadet Captain Wesley Liu. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Atkinson Warrior Band. Major General Combs will now conduct the ritual inspection of the Corps of Cadets. Joining her today are Mr. David Tweedy, Colonel Wayne Ward, Lieutenant Kearney, Colonel Kirby Scarborough, and our four honored service representatives. U.S. Army, Mayor Matt Hall, U.S. Marine Corps, Robbie Robinson, U.S. Navy, Jay Coleman, U.S. Air Force, Terrell Rodman, and our honorary commander of troops. Veterans Day originated as Armistice Day on November 11, 1919, the first anniversary of the end of World War I. Congress passed a resolution in 1926 for an annual observance, and November 11th became a national holiday beginning in 1938. Unlike Memorial Day, Veterans Day pays tributes to all American veterans, living or dead, but especially gives thanks to living veterans who served their country honorably during war or peacetime. Veterans Day occurs on November 11th every year in the United States in honor of the 11th hour, of the 11th day, of the 11th month, of 1918 that signaled the end of World War I, known as Armistice Day. In 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower officially changed the name of the holiday from Armistice Day to Veterans Day. Veterans Day commemorates veterans of all wars. Great, Great Britain, France, Australia, and Canada also commemorate the veterans of World War I and World War II on or near November 11th. Canada has Remembrance Day, while Britain has Remembrance Sunday, which is celebrated the second Sunday of November. In Europe, Great Britain, and the Commonwealth countries, it is common to observe two minutes of silence at 11 a.m. every November 11th. Every Veterans Day and Memorial Day, Arlington National Cemetery holds an annual memorial service. The cemetery is home to the graves of over 400,000 people, most of whom served in the military. In the words of the President of the United States, to be a veteran or a service member is to have endured and survived challenges most Americans will never know. 
To be the family of one of those proud patriots is to sacrifice more for our country than most Americans will ever give. During National Veterans and Military Families Month, we pay respect to the unrelenting bravery and dedication of all who wear the uniform and to the unwavering love and support of all who serve alongside them. Families who put their lives on hold so our military can hold the line represent the best of America and we will always remember what they do for our great nation. Since 2009, Army and Navy Academy and the Rotary Club of Carlsbad have teamed together to commemorate and honor our veterans on this special day. We have been blessed to have thousands of families and community members join us to publicly recognize the sacrifices and service of our na nation's veterans. The mission of the Army and Navy Academy is to educate, mentor, and develop good character in young men. Our rich history is steeped in continuing commitment to our values, honor, integrity, responsibility, compassion, and gratitude. These values are the bedrock of good character and remind us all each day of our purpose as a military academy. Today we are teamed with the Rotary Club of Carlsbad, which was chartered in 1939 which is a service club dedicated to bringing together business and professional leaders in order to provide humanitarian service and to advance goodwill and peace in our local community, our country, and worldwide. We are incredibly proud to honor our veterans on this very, very special day. The colors and the company commanders with the guide on bearers will move to the center of the parade field for honors to our nation.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. At this time, I invite your attention to the Army and Navy Academy 12-man color guard at the center of the field. In honor of veterans past and present, our 12-man color guard is wearing period uniforms representing different eras in our nation's history. We would like to take a brief moment to identify the periods in our history in which the 12-man color guard represents. Cadet Sergeant Matthew Myers, Color Guard Commander, dressed in the World War II Army 101st Airborne Paratrooper Uniform. Cadet S Sergeant Spencer Lott, Right Rifle Guard, dressed in the United States Forces Battle Dress Uniform. Cadet Private First Class, Crew Wilson, carrying the American flag, dressed in the United States Marine Corps Digital Desert Camo Uniform. Cadet Sergeant Philip Hunt carrying the California flag dressed in the Army Operational Camouflage Pattern Uniform. Cadet Private Simone Marquez carrying the Army flag dressed in the Army Universal Camouflage Pattern Uniform. Cadet Sergeant Kelly McKinley carrying the Marine Corps flag dressed in the Marine Corps Digital Woodland Camo Uniform. Cadet Private Kong Tet carrying the Navy flag, dressed in the Navy dress blue uniform. Cadet Sergeant Elliot Seifert carrying the Air Force flag, dressed in the U.S. Armed Forces OG-107 fatigue uniform. Cadet Corporal Pietro Casciaro 
carrying the Coast Guard flag, dressed in the Coast Guard dress whites. Cadet Private William Peter, carrying the Space Force flag, dressed in the Airman battle uniform. Cadet Corporal Nicholas Gepfarth, carrying the Army and Navy Academy flag, dressed in the Armed Forces Desert Combat Uniform. Cadet Corporal T.J. Hoff, left rifle guard, dressed in the World War II Army Private Uniform. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give another round of applause for our 12-man color guard. Our featured speaker for this morning is our Army and Navy Academy 16th President, Major General Retired, Peggy Combs. These are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will, in this crisis, shrink from service to their country. But he that stands it now deserves the love and thanks of man and woman. These words, written by Thomas Paine on December 23rd, 1776, inspired George Washington's war-torn, frozen, and battered troops to cross the Delaware River and successfully attack Trenton just one night later, Christmas Eve, and turn the tide of the American Revolution. It was that commitment to duty and to the ideals of freedom and liberty that enabled our continental forces to win our nation's independence. And it's that same commitment by our nation's veterans that has defended our freedom for the last 246 years. Today, we honor the service and commitment of our nation's veterans. What does commitment mean? Well, according to the dictionary, commitment involves dedicating oneself to a cause. In serving our nation, I think, our veterans make the penultimate commitment. As you see, our veterans, when they raise their right hand and selflessly take the oath of service, they also write a virtual check to the American people, a check in the amount of one life that if and when necessary can be cashed in the defense of freedom. It's in honor of that courageous commitment that we gather today. Will all veterans please stand to be recognized and appreciated?
Thank you. There's another group of very special people that we should also recognize today, and that is the family members of our veterans. As you see, our family members are also selfless servants to our nation. They endure the angst and pain of separation, the missed anniversaries, birthdays, ball games, recitals, and even births caused by their veterans' call to duty. Will all family members of a veteran please stand to be recognized? Thank you. The commitment of our veterans and their families can be summed up in one word. And that word is love. Love of community, love of our neighbors, love of our great nation, and love of freedom. In service to our nation, our veterans live the values of duty, honor, selfless service, and courage. It's those values and that love that our veterans bring to our communities while in service and when they proudly hang up their uniforms. They are the standard bearers of character, patriotism, and pride. In our country today, we have approximately 19 million veterans, which represents just a little over 7% of our population. So to borrow a phrase from the Marine Corps, veterans are indeed the few, the proud. Today, veterans, it is with great pride that I present to you the future that is represented on the field before you. These cadets, have committed themselves to being their best self, to being there for each other as brothers, and to being virtuous citizens of our nation and the world. You see, they know that once they take off this academy uniform, that they, like you, have the responsibility to model character to live the values that they have learned and inspire all those around them to do the same. So will you please join me in a round of encouragement for these exceptional young men. Thank you. In closing, I'd like to thank our Rotary Club for your partnership in this event and for all that you do each and every day for our community as you truly make a difference. I'd also like to thank all of you for coming today to extend your appreciation to our veterans and their families. Your presence and your gratitude are truly priceless. And lastly, to our veterans, thank you for being one of the less than 8% of Americans who have selflessly and courageously raised their right hand and said, send me, send me to defend the freedoms and the liberties of my fellow countrymen, the remaining 92% of Americans, you veterans, are very special people. Thank you for your service. Our Academy would like to salute you veterans today by saying,
At this time, the veterans from their respected service will place a memorial wreath on the field to honor our veterans. Upon completion of the ceremony today, the wreath will be placed in front of the North San Diego County Vietnam Veterans Memorial, located on the hill to the right of the press box. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for a moment of silence for all fallen veterans and then the playing of taps. Thank you, please be seated. The flyover that you have just witnessed is called the Missing Man Formation, which is a traditional mid-air salute in memory of a fallen comrade. The first funeral flyover of aircraft occurred during World War I when British fighter pilots honored the funeral of German ace Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron. The United States adopted the tradition in 1938. Today's flyover, executed by the San Diego Salute Formation Flight Team, honors all veterans who now wait for us on the ultimate high ground.
At this time, we invite Major General Combs, Mr. Tweedy, and Lieutenant Colonel Doherty to take their place on the reviewing line for the pass and review. We would also like to invite all veterans present today to please come forward to the sideline on our football field and join the reviewing officials for the pass and review in honor of our veterans. The Commander of Troops will parade the Corps of Cadets in salute to you, our veterans, to show our appreciation for your dedication and service to our country. The pass and review is a long-standing tradition that began as a way for newly assigned commanders to inspect the troops. Today, the cadets will pass and review and salute to our many veterans joining us today. During the pass and review, as the colors pass your front, we ask that you please stand if you are able. Leading the battalion is the battalion commander, Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Dela Proto, and his staff, which includes the battalion executive officer, Cadet Major Finian McGonigal, S1 Adjutant, Cadet Captain Jacob Pascal, S2 Information Officer, Cadet Captain Michael Ramirez, Acting S3 Operations Officer, Cadet First Lieutenant Pierce Fleming, S4 Logistics Officer, Cadet Captain David Sanchez, S5 Public Affairs Officer, Cadet Captain Truck Nguyen, S6 Admissions Officer, Cadet Captain David Dror, S7 Equal Opportunity Officer, Cadet Captain Rock Williams, Battalion Sergeant Major, Cadet Command Sergeant Major Sullivan Adams. Band Company, under the leadership of Company Commander, Cadet Captain Wesley Liu from Roland Heights, California. Executive Officer, Cadet First Lieutenant Roman DeLucia, El Cajon, California. Drum Major, Cadet Sergeant Major Alexander Shen from Los Altos, California. And Cadet First Sergeant Jack Zhang, San Dimas, California. Headquarters Company, under the leadership of Company Commander, Cadet Captain Kalen Brazil from Danville, California. Executive Officer, Cadet First Lieutenant Quinn Vereker from Del Mar, California. And Cadet Sergeant Major Jacob Honeycutt, Huntington Beach, California. Alpha Company, under the leadership of Company Commander, Cadet Captain Tafik El Tarawi from Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Acting Executive Officer, Cadet Second Lieutenant Zi Yao Wang from Shanghai, China, and Cadet First Sergeant Tate Myers from Woodland Hills, California. Bravo Company, under the leadership of Company Commander Cadet Captain Charles Seema, Atlantic Heights, New Jersey, Executive Officer Cadet First Lieutenant Cameron Thompson, Renton, Washington, and Cadet First Sergeant Arya Sultani, Newport Beach, California. And the Color Guard, under the leadership of Cadet Sergeant Matthew Myers from Oakland, California. Charlie Company, under the leadership of Company Commander Cadet Captain Andres Vasquez from Marietta, California. Executive Officer Cadet First Lieutenant Marshall Imperial Bobis from Tracy, California. And Cadet First, First Sergeant Brady Stewart from Goodyear, Arizona. Echo Company, under the leadership of Company Commander Cadet Captain Hoban Kim from Seoul, Republic of Korea. Executive Officer Cadet First Lieutenant Henry Zhu from Zhejiang, China and Cadet First Sergeant Enzo Pilcher from Camarillo, California. Followed by Stoll's Guard, led by Cadet Captain Richard Ramos from D Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico. Don't they look great?
the color guard is coming back around at the end of the presentation. You will be encouraged to take pictures if you would like. On behalf of the Army and Navy Academy and the Rotary Club of Carlsbad, we again thank you, all veterans and their families, for your selfless service to our great nation. We hope that our Veterans Day review was a fitting tribute to your service. Thank you all for attending, and we wish you a lovely afternoon. And for our cadets, they will have Handel's ice cream available to them after the parade.